car. Jesus when hunting up in North Texas. I saw these hogs on the preceding night and I'm back and I've finally gotten close to them. And if you notice, I'm using my IR Hunter Mark III thermal weapon site. This site had given me some problems previously, and so I needed to figure out what was wrong. I did some testing on it. If you want to skip the testing, just go to the shooting, skip the 217. Otherwise, I've had this weapon site since December of 2016. I've had it running for thousands of hours and many thousands of rounds fired through it. But I had this problem where I lost image on the scope. So I'd lost the image, the image came back, but the buzzing sound indicate that I'd lost signal. I thought it had just glitched somehow. So I tried it on another hunt. Three, two, one. Perfect. I've lost the image and I'm done. So it turns out I'd actually lost power. So we're going to be looking at this area right here, except we're going to be looking at a third party uh, battery cap on it. You can see the power switch, the main optic housing, battery compartment. There's a power cable going in. It goes to my external power supply and then the adapter cap from Ultimate Night Vision. Over time, it had become slightly loosened, about three quarters of a turn. This is a simple fix. I just cranked it back in the other direction, cranked it down tight, and then decided to do some recoil testing. All right, after tightening one connection, we're going to take a few shots with some Wolf Military Classic 100 grain ammunition, see how it does, see if the scope shuts off or if it stays running under recoil. All right, here we go. All right, we're going to take four shots with Hornady Black 123 grain ELD into the ground. No problems. All right, we're good to go. Confident that my scope is going to work appropriately. I'm on top of the hill. It's a quite windy night. Looking at hogs down in the next field on the other side of the trees. You can barely make them out as some darker dots. Through the brush, I'm going to head down the hill, through the gap, and here I am with the hogs. I'm going to be shooting my TX-15 Multipurpose Carbine Enhanced and 6.5 Grindel. And I'm going to be shooting Horn of the SST 123 grain bullets loaded by Druid Hill Armory in the Starline Brass. As I was making my way down the hill, the hogs were slowly moving off to the left in the same direction as the wind. And unfortunately, there are less hogs here now than there were just about five minutes ago. So I've got a problem and that the hogs are very close. I can hear them. I can see them with my naked eye, but I've also got this little ridge right here. That ridge isn't going to be so much of a problem because while the ground fades away behind the ridge, it comes back up and I can see the ground there by the trees. So here I'm not shooting up over the horizon, but I'm actually shooting down into a low area just over a slight ridge. I'm not worried about there being any cattle or anything large behind the hogs. As I mentioned earlier, I can see these hogs with my naked eyes. These aren't large hogs. So if there were any cattle behind the hogs, I should be seeing them with no problem. I'm hoping the hogs are going to run off to the right. This is the hog that gives me my best shot. I'm going to shoot it. It's a sow. The other hogs ran in the wrong direction. So this was my one good shot. I took it and I have one hog down. Here you can see the point of aim on the shot. This is kind of interesting because where the bullet exited was through the head. So there was quite a bit of deflection of the bullet going through the hog. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. The hog turned out to be a 75 pound sow. She was not pregnant, but had farrowed previously. Now the field where I shot this hog was just chock full loaded with uh, pig droppings. They are undoubtedly spending a lot of time here. So I'm gonna be checking back in this little hidden pasture again on my next hunts.
Carpe sus, my friends.